Hi guys, uh, I'm Aaron Walston. I'm going to be talking about my Module 7, the Human Resource Frame. Um, the Human Resource Frame, according to Bowman and Deal, essentially is a frame that identifies organi organizations as a family and focuses on the needs and relationships. Uh, I'm going to focus more on how they talked about that it, it has to be a family. Um, the people within the organization must be the center of the goals of that organization, they also said. Um, those leaders, you know, they need to focus on skills of all those family members within that organization. Uh, the attitudes, you know, you got to look at everybody's attitude. How are they feeling? What are they, how do they feel about the situation? And then their communication from top down or bottom up, you know, how does that work? Everybody has to be involved in this family. Um, teamwork, teamwork is huge. Uh, that's like one of the keys, you know, um, has to be between everybody. Everybody has to be involved in the teamwork and it's required to create a positive, you know, and successful work environment. Um, this is my, whoop, let me get that out of the way. This is my hierarchy, uh, kind of pyramid. Um, I debated on having principal or students at the top. Um, I'm not going to be a principal, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be a principal, um, but I do do other things for leadership within my school. So I went with principal at the top, and the reason is is because there's got to be somebody at the top that's kind of, um, I guess if you want to say, governing the whole family community. Uh, but I chose the principal because nothing would happen if there was no overall leader. I mean, if there wasn't somebody to moderate what was going on within that school, I don't, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think much would happen. So I put that principal at the top. Then students are next. When students come next, I mean, students are the number one priority of everybody. You know, we wouldn't have jobs if it weren't for students. If students weren't there, we wouldn't have teachers. If students weren't there, we wouldn't have cooks. If students weren't there, we wouldn't have alumni or, I mean, the community would kind of go downhill. So those students are everybody's number one priority and in my mind that principal has to like oversee everybody else to make sure that everything is going towards those students and then we've got teachers teachers they interact with those students the most um, as a teacher I mean I see my students for hours a day um, being an elementary school teacher and in my mind there are certain teachers that you just you know it's important for them to to put their goals or make their goals for those students. Um, and it's, I mean, again, go back to those students being the number one priority. And then we've got office staff, paraprofessionals, and parents. Those people, they see students also all the time. Office staff, you know, they their jobs are super important when it comes to keeping that school running. Um, I, you know, like, like in college, you know, in my undergrad, they always told me, make friends with the office staff and your secretary because they run the school and now I know yeah they they definitely run the school so they are important too and then we've got our paraprofessionals that work with students and then your parents I mean they see the kids more than more than I do and I'm their teacher you know because they are just as important um, but I put them a little bit lower on my list because I was talking about the school environment uh, within the school but I still think parents are a huge huge role and then we've got cooks maintenance personnel and custodial staff, they, I mean, they play a key role in this family. Um, lunch lines, you know, lunches, they wouldn't work if we didn't have our cooks. Maintenance personnel, our school would break down. Um, lucky for me, I've got a new school uh, that's only four years old, but we have problems already. We need that maintenance staff. Custodial staff, they, I mean, they keep the place the way it, should, the way it needs to be. You know, you need that environment. Um, it's got to be clean. It's got to be, you know, stocked and everything ready to go. They are very important to this family. And then we've got alumni and community. Um, I put them a little bit lower. For me, honestly, alumni in my elementary school setting, it's not, for what I can see, it's not super important because once they go to high school, when they become an alumni of the high school, they interact with the high school more than they would the elementary. Every once in a while, there is that alumni that want to come back and help out the uh, the elementary school, and that kind of goes with community. Um, and it's not as often. It's still important to this family because those students who are at the top, they benefit from the community 
coming in and working with those students. So I kind of put this in my order and we'll see what happens from there. And then this is my works cited.